Just sort of give us your reaction to the latest news in terms of how this adds to the challenges for Deutsche Bank. Well, we don't learn anything new. Yeah. Um, we were aware of the money laundering question anyway. I mean, you look across Europe, you look across the Nordics, this thing isn't going away fast. So very little to add, really. I mean, as I say, it's a topic that we knew was coming up. And from the outside, you can't add any value. Just look at a yeah. Nordea or a Danska. We know nothing six, 12 months into the whole affair, and you've got share prices that continue to get hit. Deutsche has got its own problems, and the, the focus has to be far more on what's the strategy update in July, is it enough, and can they really turn around profitability? Will some of the sort of news that we've heard around possible changes in leadership prove some support to the stock price at all? Well, whatever they do has to be substantive. I mean, they've played around the edges so many times now. I mean, even talking about sort of 50 billion of risk squared assets from the derivatives book, which is 300 billion plus, isn't big enough. I think there was a Reuters story yesterday talking about 25% of group risk squared assets. That's quite material. Um, I think we're going to get something. Um, you look at the stock; it's beginning to move. The shorts haven't been sort of pushed out yet because they're still sitting there thinking something wholesale to really get this bank back on track will require write-offs and therefore that will require some sort of rights issue so the stock hasn't reacted that much yet because clearly there are a lot of people out there still thinking they're going to need capital to address this problem in a satisfactory way yeah look we've had headlines coming out over the past three days what happens next what's going to be the next step well, with any luck, they announce uh, a wholesale restructuring in the U.S. I mean, the fact is they can't exit the U.S. completely because what do they tell their international European clients? Oh, sorry, we can't service you in dollars. We can't service you for your U.S. needs. Of course, they can't do that completely. But certainly, you look at trading. I mean, they were down 20% plus in Q1. The trading comps are getting easier, actually. So if you look at 2Q, because it's been so painful for them for quite a long time, the numbers on a relative basis should stop to stop looking as bad. Advisory and M&A, on the other hand, we know we've been warned by the US banks. That's going to be down another 10 to 15 percent this quarter. And they were beginning to look quite good there. So mm. it's got to be big. It's got to be material. It's got to address trading. But they can't just, they're not just going to exit the business. And I don't think anybody really expects that.